What's up everyone, my name is David Arroyo and today we're going to be focusing on another how-to video, this time focusing on how to create awesome workspaces within Clip Studio Paint for the iPad Pro. Now, the iPad Pro does not come with a keyboard uh, when you purchase it. You can obviously purchase it separately, but why am I mentioning a keyboard? Well, because keyboards are extremely useful for this type of software. The keyboard shortcuts, they're what make your productivity go up. And productivity, it's what it's all about, especially when creating comics. So I'm going to be showing you guys today how to create really cool workspaces uh, within Clip Studio Paint, specifically tailored for the iPad Pro to bypass these keyboard shortcuts and uh, to make your productivity as efficient as possible. Right, let's get this show on the road. Okay, so let's get uh, started on this. Now, first I want to give credit to Ruben Lara, who is a really good artist on YouTube. You know, this is basically where I learned the majority of the stuff that I'm about to show you. Uh, he has a really good video on creating workspaces as well, so definitely check that out. I will be providing a link in the description so that you can see his channel and uh, check out what he does. He's got a lot of Clip Studio Paint tutorials and stuff, so definitely want to give credit where credit's due, first and foremost. Now. Moving on, um, let me show you a quick picture of my setup. So if you see that my hands are doing awkward movements, it's because I have to move around these two books that you're seeing there. Uh, very good books, by the way, by Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People and Families. Anyways, back to the matter at hand. Um, yeah, you know, the setup is a bit awkward, so uh, it's the only way I can record both screens at the same time. So uh, let's give this a try and uh, let's see how it goes. Let's start with explaining workspaces. Workspaces are basically there to improve your productivity. That's the most important thing about a workspace. So I'm going to dive right into it. So the current workspace that you're looking at is the uh, standard default workspace that comes with the Clip Studio Paint on the iPad Pro. Um, and to be honest with you, it's actually a pretty good one. I actually like it. Uh, I've only changed one thing to create my own minimalistic one. Is that this little thingy here. Okay, I take this out. Now, what I'm showing you here is that every little um, thingy can be docked, right? So it's like a, every little window can be docked and tooled. So what I have done, I'll show you here first. So first you can, for example, dock it to this side if you really wanted to. And there's a few things you can do. You can either have it like this, you can remove it. So two arrows, remove it completely, gets it out of sight. Yeah, when you open it back up, uh, you can also lower it like the way it is standard. Or what I did was I removed it and I put it into my other um, dock basically. Now here you see that one arrow and two arrows. If you press two, like this, this one uh, arrow to open it up, what you're gonna see is a bigger um, expansion basically of the menu, if you will. Uh, and obviously everything can be, can be expanded, okay? So that's the real power of these things. They're really amazing. And the good thing about this is that you can use your thumbs, okay? So that's what I also really like. Now, most of the time what I do, okay, I put it to this, and then I can very quickly just get my quick access, which we're gonna uh, cover also in a second. Um, and I have access to my G pens, my, my, you know, all this stuff on the fly, yeah? That's one way to do it. And I'll show you how to set up your workspaces and stuff. Uh, but it's just very interesting to know that. So you've got uh, these two for just hiding everything. And you can press it. And when you press the double arrows, it opens up the entire menu. If you go one arrow back, it basically just shows you like the quick icons so that you can uh, hide and show them uh, whenever you need them. Okay, so that's one thing. You can also, for example, say there's a tool that's not in there. You go to Window. You go to, let's say, one that I really like uh, using is the color slider, right? But I don't like to use the color slider like this, like it's shown here. I prefer taking the color slider out and dragging it down. Let me first collapse this so that it's smaller. And let me bring the color slider to the bottom. Why? Because the color slider... See, you can drag it down to here and say more or less, this is what I want, like that, right? It's useful because you've got all this space to work with now, which I really like, okay? Um, if you don't need the color slider, basically just collapse it down and use it there. But it's one of these things that I really do use. Let me move the camera a little bit so you can see at the bottom here, 
you've got these arrows uh, to modify, to open it and close it basically, let's see if I can do it. There you go, sorry if my hand is in the way, it's not that easy to show this. Um, there you go. Maybe in the future I'll get myself a more elaborate setup. Basically all your stuff that you can do, like setups, it's all up to you. You really decide how far you want to go and how much you want to do. You can stack them on top of each other, you can say, you know what, I don't want it here, I want it in between instead. You can do that too. Uh, you know, you can have the, um, you know, you could basically have two little uh, thingies on each side if you wanted to. Uh, anything goes, okay? That's the, the, the beauty of uh, Clip Studio Paint, is that you really have a lot of uh, choice there. So, now finally we're gonna uh, save the setting, so you have to go to Register Workspace, you give it a name, in this case I'll just call it Workspace, it's fine. And then I'll tell you, I'll show you where you can find it. You go to workspace and here you've got, you know, these three, my setup, minimal and workspace. These are your personal ones to remove it. Say that you were like, oh, I don't like it. Go to manage workspace, the workspace that we've set up. Let's say we delete it and there you go. Okay. Now this second part uh, is quite interesting in terms of this section, the quick access. The quick access is basically uh, a way to very quickly get the tools that you want, okay? And you can always cr uh, get a quick access just by window, and here you have the quick access. If you don't see it, just press on that, it will uh, pop up, right? So, uh, the quick access uh, is basically normally here, which is the, what you normally get is basically set one and set two, right? And set one, uh, when you open it up, it is literally just that. I haven't changed it at all. Set two will come only with one button, and that's this one, the quick access settings. Now, when you click on it, you can start adding things to your menu, right? It's basically you're building your own personal menu. Very useful because on the iPad Pro, um, you know, your thumb, as you can see here, is basically all you need. It's extremely useful, right? You can switch uh, between things. It's just perfect. So what I like to do, uh, maybe I'll show you just how to create a new set. So say you were to create a set, a brand new one. Yeah, let's call it new set. Doesn't matter. Here you go. Now it's quite empty now, right? You've got absolutely nothing in there. Um, you can just click on quick access settings. Okay. And then from here on, you can start adding uh, things to it. Like say you want to, you've got either things from the main menu or the pop-up palette. Let's say you want a particular tool. You can add a pencil. Let's see if I can add it from here. It's a bit difficult to reach because of the books. There you go. Uh, and you just add a pencil to it, for example. Now you can see how it's been added. You also say you, you work a lot with the dark pencil. Uh, then you want to have an eraser there, a soft one, for example, a hard one as well. You add uh, and so forth and so forth. Uh, and this can go not just for tools, but for literally anything. Right. And that's what makes it so interesting. You can keep adding things, um, you know, from any side of things. So, for example, here in comics, I've got things like perspective rulers. I've got, uh, you know, frames. I've got all these different things that are hidden normally in other uh, menus. So you would have to click through one menu and the other just to get to that. But here I just have them uh, immediately where I need them. Like, for example, so the, the way I've set it up, basically, it's. In my previous videos, I have a video uh, on my channel uh, in the series on my journey into making comics. It's episode seven, which discusses the production phase. And there I show the different steps in creating a comic book page. And basically I've divided it into basically penciling, which is the top part here. You see a line between uh, the real pencil and the G pen. Okay, there is a line. And then, um, so that's the penciling uh, section. Then you've got the inking section. The erasers I've added in just to make it easy for myself. The uh, lasso polyline and the, these colors, that's basically for uh, flatting and the coloring uh, side of things. And then at the bottom, I've got the uh, text, uh, anything to do with lettering, uh, basically to add the text, the balloons and all that type of stuff. Very useful and you know it basically follows uh, a particular format. Now, say I don't want to have this particular set anymore, all you have to do is just delete set. 
you say yes, and there you go. You're back to your edits and your comics. I've named them that way. You want to change the name, it's very simple. You also go to that menu, and then you say manage set, and, you know, um, no, not delete. It's the manage one. Um, there you go, and then you can change the name here, as you can see. Okay, so, um, and that's the quick access menu, which I find extremely important. Another thing, very quickly though, and now that I'm here, um, Remember, let's say you're flatting, right? And you're making your selection. Let's say this is your selection. Now, very often you would say, okay, the next step is to fill the, you know, fill the selection with a color. But what I've done, I've got a setup where all I have to do is just uh, put my finger on the screen and that will basically fill in the um, thingy for me. So I don't even have to go to the actual menu of coloring. So Again, let me just very quickly show that again. So I make a selection, right? I put my finger and it's uh, filled in. Now, how is it that I can do that? It's very simple. Here, you can set tool to use with fingers. So the reason why I've done that, I'm actually gonna show you this first. In Clip Studio Paint, normally when, with one finger, when you do this, that's what happens, right? You can move around with your finger, uh, but I find that you know, not too useful. I thought, you know, because I can already do that with two. You know, with two, I can zoom in, pinch, all that stuff at the same time. With one, it's just to move. With two, you can move and, and scale and all that stuff. But I thought, what if this finger can do different things, right? So then I decided to start using, for example, when I do a lasso and then I put my finger on it, then I can color it. Even if I wanted to change the color, it doesn't matter. I change the color, make another selection, and you know put my finger on it again and it does the job um, very fast instead of having to go back to the to paint bucket and blah 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 now this is how you do it you go to here you go to select uh, set tool to use with finger right settings for each process of tool you can find them here a long press that's what i've changed so you can either change the single swipe or the long press the long press is what i've changed which is when i put my finger down and hold it pressed in it will change the tool temporarily. So you've got non common or change the tool temporarily. You change the tool temporarily and in settings, I used fill, refer only to editing layer, and then I pressed okay, and that was it, right? And that's what allowed me to uh, fill in the, um, you know, the selection so that I don't constantly have to change. Uh, it's just to speed things up. Again, workspaces, creating efficient workspaces is all about speeding up production. Okay, that's basically what it's all about. The cool thing in Clip Studio Paint is that you can address this to every individual uh, tool. So say I am inking, right? I'm inking right now, let's ink with red. And now I'm gonna use my finger. Now I'm gonna be erasing instead, right? I can erase over anything because it's all one in the same uh, layer. But that's the cool thing here. Now, if I'm painting, for example, say I wanna be painting now, yeah. Now, if I do this, if I start swiping, I'm color picking, right? All that simply because here, you will see, for the oil paint, right, I have, for the single swipe, I've changed the tool temporarily to obtain display color. So I went to settings, I went to eyedropper, and obtain display color. Okay, something extremely useful if you want to speed things up, okay? So let me quickly clear this again. I can just do that here in edit and I clear. There you go. And let's say right now, this is another thing I really want to show you because it is about workspace. It's about making things easy for yourself. Um, say you made your selection, but you have to add to the selection. Now, if you've got a keyboard, everyone knows that you just use shift, right? The button shift. Now, there is no shift here, obviously. We don't have a keyboard with us, uh, so I'm going to show you how to uh, you know, access that shift. You put your finger on the edge of the iPad. So here's my, my finger. Put it on the edge of your iPad and swipe in, okay? A long swipe will dock it. A small swipe will just put it over it. Right now, you hold shift, and then now I can start adding selections uh, to it, okay? And the cool thing, again, remember what I said, one finger, and I'm coloring uh, immediately without having to go to the different menus. Now, how do I get rid of this? I put the finger on the opposite side and I just swipe back. Okay, you can also swipe it from this side if you're left-handed, 
and you want the menu on that side, perfect, no problem. To get rid of it, again, you just swipe the other way and it's gone. If you do a, a gentle swipe, it will go over it, over the menu, uh, and to get back rid of it, I like to just swipe back. And so there you go. That's how you create awesome workspaces in Clip Studio Paint on the iPad Pro. If you like this type of content, leave a like, subscribe to stay up to date with this type of videos. And of course, if you have a specific request of certain type of how-to videos that you would like to see on this channel, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.